Hey everybody, it's your old pal Larry, the horror movie dick. And I'm back with a unboxing horror segment. Uh, I've been ordering a lot of shit in, online, getting it through the mail, uh, and it's stacking up. And I got a surprise, a surprise package from our old pal Dan Ubel from way up north. So uh, I haven't looked at that. I got a lot of shit to show. Strap on. It's one of my favorite segments because life is always better when you're in a box. Let's get to it. So, uh, first of all, a uh, little Amazon pre-order. Uh, if you are follow me on any social media, you know that I can't shut up about the fact that uh, Shout Factory or Scream Factory was doing a Blu-ray reissue of Let's Scare Jessica to Death, one of my favorite movies of all time. And I pre-ordered it. And got it on the release date. Karen! Uh, so I'm super excited. I've been sitting on it since Tuesday, not literally. But uh, I've been sitting on it, waiting to do this. And here we go. Alright, Karen. Just like always. They sent it in a bubble mail. 50-50 shot if it's smashed to shit or not. We don't know. And the funny part about Amazon is it's all or nothing. You either fucking return it completely, uh, send it back, or nothing. So you can't just bitch that it was <laughs> sent in a bubble mailer. They don't care. I don't even think they have customer service. You can't get a hold of them. So uh, I already opened this for uh, quickness sake. And I'm going to reach my hand in. I see it. I see it in there. And here it comes. Hopefully it's not fucking destroyed. Oh, sexy. It doesn't look destroyed. But, uh, like I've said before, sometimes the shrink wrapping can be deceiving. Sometimes it'll, uh, I'm going to bring it into the box with me. It looks good. I wish it had been uh, released by a better distributor, to be honest. This is uh, Scream Factory, I guess. Shout Factory. Uh, those dicks won't even return my fucking emails. <laughs> Trying to get on the press list. Um, but they also didn't do a very good job with their releases. I mean, compared to Arrow or fucking other companies that I fucking i'm not mentioning anymore for various reasons um you know they got they got a they got a new audio commentary oh i mean obviously all new this was released um by somebody on dvd which i also own i love that the fact that they uh they didn't even fuck around with like commissioned artwork new artwork uh this is straight old school this is the, was the movie poster. Uh, it was on the original uh, VHS, which I need to get desperately. It's super rare, though. And, uh, you know, sexy. Don't fuck with shit that's not broken, in other words. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get to watch this this weekend. We're hoping. They do a decent job with their transfers, I guess. Um, they're just not... I mean, all their shit's fucking super stripped down. You can see the Blu-ray. Uh, there's probably nothing in it. No booklets. It's like, it's just going to be a disc with, uh, you know, uh, just a Blu-ray disc and like a couple handful of special features. I mean, they're big. They're Shout Factory, Scream Factory's big expense. And what they're known for is like their new artwork from people like Joel Robinson and shit. Who gives a shit? The old artwork's better. Like... Try to be like Arrow. Anyway, my rant is over. I wish Arrow released it. All right. Box. Guess what I did? I took my address off of it. Fucking about time. Kieran says, uh, you covered your address. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> he knows. Balls, bubble mailer. Yeah, balls to bubble mailers. So we got, uh, I know what this one is. 
I haven't looked. We got a proper box, Kieran. What are we going to do? Uh, yes. My mom says, or am I the only one that can't hear anything? Uh, Kieran, can you confirm that you hear me? I'm sure he can. I see the audio running. So, uh, I think you're the only one. Get a new phone. Probably. So, uh, whoa! So, newspaper and a proper box. Where was I? Kieran can hear me. Mom! Dan is here! Dan! He's like Santa. Out of the blue. We're getting to Dan's last. We're saving the best for last. So, uh... Yeah, proper box, some some packaging. I'm not used to this. I'm not. I don't even know what to do. Holy shit! You're not gonna believe this. It's fucking bubble wrapped. <laughs> oh boy, talk about Christmas. What the fuck? I'm gonna bring it into the box. Todd. And uh. I brought my, I brought a fucking box cutter just in case. I've been screwed in the past. After years of doing videos, you'd think I'd know what to do. <laughs> I don't. It's still guesswork every fucking time. It's like, oh yeah. I need to keep something over there to cut with. The last six times, it didn't work out for me without a fucking box cutter. So, uh, taking it up, unfolding the bubble wrapping. Oh, this is sexy. Here we go. The Norman Warren collection. Now, this is, uh, this is fucking, uh, Kieran's homeland. This is from his homeland. Uh, this is a UK Anchor Bay release. Uh, coffin box set. Now, I was talking to somebody about, uh, about a movie that came out. Uh, Blood on Satan's Claw came out in one of these collections. There's, uh, there's a few of them. Uh, it's like, uh, Tygen releases. Uh, I have the Amicus one. Long story short, I didn't know that there was more coffin-shaped, uh, Anchor Bay box sets from, from the UK. And uh, now I need them all. As soon as I found out, I started searching, and uh, I found this one, and it's uh, it was twenty five bucks, and it is fucking minty and sexy inside. Still got all the booklets and stuff. You got a disc there. Now I gotta admit, I don't know like if somebody said like, "Hey, are you a fan of Norman Warren?" I wouldn't know who the fuck you're talking about. Um, I don't know everything. There's too much. But you can see, uh, I am familiar with, like, uh, Inseminoid and uh, maybe some of the other ones. They don't jump out at me. But uh, this motherfucker folds out just like the other one, the Amicus one. It folds out. There's, like, a, a DVD on each coffin inside. Man, this is, like, brand fucking new. This is nicer than my Amicus one by a lot um i got the amicus one years ago bunch of movies that weren't at the time available in the united states uh, i go all region i go all region so it doesn't matter whatever i buy is all region so uh, i got dvd and blu-ray and man that's sexy 25 dollars. did i mention that that's fucking cheap i forgot to put the booklet in here that'll keep me up at night Man, it's like fucking brand new. So there's one down. I need, I think I need two more. Like I said, ty, there's like a Tygen. Uh, also, not really familiar. Tygen, I think, is the one that has blood on Satan's claw. And um, and then there's another one that I can't fucking think of. Uh, Kieran says, yes, somebody did their job right. Yeah, can you believe it? Holy fuck. Bubble wrap. All right, box number two. Uh, also, I know what this one is. This, I got a major deal on. Because I collect 
Shriek Show DVD box sets. Look at this. A proper box and fucking individually bubble wrapped. Woo! Oh my god. What am I gonna... I fucking feel faint. Holy shit! Somebody fucking knows how to package fucking shit without, like... <laughs> I, I, it's unbelievable. This chick, like, um, clearly didn't know what she had on eBay. I don't know how it got past everybody else's attention. But, um... It, sound, it feel, felt like a lady selling su stuff, like maybe she was left, maybe in a state or something. Um, I've, I come across that a lot in you know, like collections and uh, Craigslist and stuff like that. Just trying to wife selling off her husband's collection. Dirty whores selling off their shit as soon as they... They're not even cold in the ground and there's bitches be selling off their fucking collections. You better... Mom, you better fucking bury yourself with my fucking movies. Um, so, yeah. She didn't know what she had. It start, the bid started at $25. No, it was way cheaper than that. It was like 10 bucks, And I, I bid 25 and I got it for 25 And it's fucking 5 Oh, wow. She did too good of a job. This is just going to, like, fucking stall this video. She fucking packed this. Oh my god. Seriously, fucking taped, man. Like, I might not be able to do this. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I don't want to piss off our sponsors. Fuck you. Nobody fucking watches this shit. Uh, so, yeah, this is one of them. Now, here's the story. I already have this. I already have this. These are all, they're all claimed to be like brand new, which this clearly is. I already have this and it was, I got it at a fucking, at a horror convention, still shrink wrapped. I pulled it out for you guys. And uh, the plan is to sell the shrink wrapped one because anything still shrink wrapped goes for more money than shit that's not shrink wrapped. So uh, I'm going to subsidize my $25 fucking free shipping. So uh, I'll keep the used ones. And I don't like to open shit that's still shrink-wrapped anyway. So it's like... It's like this collection was made for me. It really is. Looks like she got two in here. Oh, yeah. It's two shrink-wrapped together. That's fine. One Dark Knight. Great fucking film. Hard to find. They really said on Blu-ray. I know, like I think, like Code Red maybe did, but like that doesn't count. It's almost like Shout Factory. <laughs> now they're never gonna return my emails. Well, fuck them. I've been trying to get on their press list for fucking years. Fucking cunts. Actually, they did respond. Shout Scream Factory responded to me once, and they were like. Uh, as you can probably understand, our press list is very full, so, like, uh, we're gonna have to fucking say no. But that was years ago, when I was just doing an app, just written reviews. Now, fucking, I get, like, fucking thousands more fucking viewers than that. So it's time to fucking give me, give me my fucking dues. Put me on your list. I'll stop fucking talking shit about you, maybe. This is a cool one. <laughs> I don't have any of these ones that I'm showing now. Don't go in the house. Classic. Uh, I haven't seen the other two. Grindhouse Psychos. Three movie set. Did I mention $25 for these? That's like fucking nothing. Or bubble wrapping. Wow, what a great lady. Oh, and when I was talking, when I was ne like negotiating with her, whatever. No, I just bought it. it. The bidding went up to 25 and I fucking won. She immediately, like, messaged me. And she was like, I'm going to get this out fucking on this day. Um, and I was like, that's great, thanks. And then she messaged me again when she sold, when she shipped it. So, like, she was fucking, like, super on it. And knows how to ship stuff. I'm going to fucking faint.
Enjoy the sounds of my bubble wrap. What's everybody saying? Let's entertain ourselves. <laughs> Cody says, uh, he buy another copy of Dead Snow 2 or something? <laughs> yeah. To burn it. Oh, and then Mom says, uh, going to burn it all with you. There you go. There you go. And, uh, Swearwolf says, buy a shrink wrap machine, raise the prices on everything. <laughs> I'm sure people fucking do that. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Here we go. Euro trash, Kieran. It's not very nice. Uh, the Witchery. David Hasselhoff and Linda Blair, I've seen. Faceless, I don't think I've ever seen. Bad Inclination, this is a three, three DVD set. Now this one I've fucking wanted forever. British Horror, Kieran, it just keeps fucking coming up. It wasn't planned, it just, uh, fuck. So British Horror, like, um, yeah. I've never seen any of these movies as far as I know. I've always wanted to see Frightmare. I've seen, like, just screenshots of it. And uh, House of Whipcord, also. Same. And I've seen, you know, like, these titles you fucking see around. If you're fucking, if you're reading stuff. Five, uh, four DVD set. All fucking European, or uh, British horror. Which is fucking se sexy. Right. What else are we doing? Kieran says on the ball, professionalism. I mean, we're fucking... For eBay, that's fucking shocking. It's shocking. Two packages in a row. Fucking shocking. Unbelievable. Now, Dan. We have Dan Hubel. Hey, Dan, am I even coming close to pronouncing your last name right? Is it Hubel? Have I asked you that before? Uh, out of the blue package. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I'll get irritated if, I don't know, if I'm not expecting stuff. <laughs> you hear the mailman throw it down like you're not, like you're nothing's coming. You're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Then I saw the return address and knew. Pretty damn close. Huh. That's also shocking. So, uh, I, I have an idea. I'm not going to lie. Dan sent me, uh, I am to me a picture of like just this whole fucking display. He was like, you, you like bootlegs, which I collect. If you don't know, he was like, you like boot VHS bootlegs. And like, it was like a whole fucking shelf, multiple, multiple shelves of all fucking bootlegs. And I saw sinister cinema in there, which, uh, I collect. And, uh, and I didn't, you know, like, Dan, I didn't want to, I wanted to fucking be like, dude, I will fucking PayPal you <laughs> like a hundred bucks. Just buy fucking all these. You know, you don't want to be a fucking dick. Like, it's, it's, you're putting somebody out doing that shit. So I was like, I'm not, you know, like, I want a bunch of those, but like, I don't want to fucking, I don't want to, maybe he doesn't have cash. Like, he's got to go to the fucking post office. You know, it's a fucking inconvenience. So I did. I was just like, man, that's fucking awesome. It was at a fucking comic book store, right, Dan? Where Dan gets his comics. And I was like, fuck. I would drop a bundle there, but I didn't want. You know, I didn't want to be a fucking dick. So I just fucking. I'm assuming that Dan felt my fucking. He could fucking hear my me drooling through the IM. Oh yeah. Oh, this is fucking awesome. And he fucking did what any fucking awesome person does. He fucking got me a bunch of them. Oh, man, all Sinister Cinema. Fuck. These are fucking killer. I, I don't have any of these. Wait. Funny story. These are all out of frame, right? You can't even see what's going on. That's fucking cool, Colin. There you go. So, like... Uh, this, I actually found at a thrift store, and I was so fucking excited to find fucking Black Sunday 
a fucking sinister cinema fucking bootleg at a thrift store that I just fucking, I snatched it and fucking, I was so happy. Uh, I was just like, I don't care if I find anything else this whole fucking weekend. This fucking made my weekend. I got home. It was like white with mold. So what I, I fucking threw the tape away. Like there was no saving it. And uh, it was either white with mold or it was like a different fucking tape in there. Like a fucking, like ducktails or some fucking stupid bullshit. I can't remember. But like, it, I had to throw, I threw the tape away. I kept the box. That's how fucking sad I am. I kept the box hoping that maybe someday I would find it again. And fucking now I don't need it because this is a fucking legit with legit fucking tape in there. And it's in better shape. Thank you, Dan. I don't have any of these. I don't have any of these uh, bootlegs, which is fucking shocking because I have quite a few. Oh, man. This is a great fucking movie. Also out of frame. Super fucking good. Uh, Mario Bava was the cinematographer, I believe, on this one. But, like, the fucking old, the old director, I don't know what his deal was. Like, he fucking, like... He was either old or fucking maybe had, like, substance issues or something. So I think it was this movie. I may be mistaken, but I think it was this movie and uh, Kaltiki. Katiki. Um, Kaltiki, something like that. Like an old creature feature that he, like, uncredited fucking directed. I think this is one of them. Definitely Kaltiki, I'm not sure about this one. But either way, this is a fucking, this is a motherfucker. Early fucking, not early, but like early European vampire. Black and white, I believe. I've only seen it once. Uh, Dan says, I owe you for those typo, typo cassettes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And David said, dropping loads. Okay. Devil's Nightmare. Fucker. Ah, uh, look at that. These things are just like, they're just so cool. I don't know what it is about them. Like, you can't fucking, like, back in the day, like, when you couldn't get these fucking movies, like, there was no DVD. They fucking weren't released on fucking VHS or whatever. Like, these places were the only way you could fucking get them, you know? Like, how fucking romantic and sexy is that? I fucking never did it, because I was always broke. But, um, you know, I fucking would have. They always charge a lot for these bootlegs. So that's fucking killer. This one I've never seen, which is Curse. Oh, it looks fucking... Some badass fucking artwork there, too. Brown. It's a brown fucking sleeve in there. It's sexy. <laughs> the killer shrews. Look at that artwork. I mean, they fucking, like, it was like, these weren't fucking shitty. I mean, like, they always just put, like, a fucking no label there, but, like, just a generic, like, typed label. But, I mean, look at the fucking cassette, though. It's a powder blue and black. That's sexy just by itself. Um, I mean, they're just fucking cool. It's nostalgic. Nostalgic and fucking, like, reliving my fucking youth when I was broke and I fucking wanted to get a copy of fucking Black Sunday to watch. A lot of these will have, like, uh, sometimes they'll have, like, two different versions on them. Um, the Sinister Cinema does, like, drive-in drive-in double features where you could fucking uh, where they have like uh you know the bumpers in between like the concession uh little concession ads in between the features they're just fucking cool uh, these are fucking really fucking nice Dan, when you if you go back to that comic book store uh, <laughs> and you want to fucking you want to grab me some like if they still have any let me know if you're feeling fucking cool then uh, just drop me a line. Because <laughs> these are fucking badass. And, like, they're not fucking cheap. Like, you would think nobody would fucking care uh, to buy them on eBay and shit. He got them for 95 cents each. And, uh, I mean, like, they're all... Especially if it's a rare movie that's uh, 
that hasn't been released or like the VHS is super expensive. The bootleg will be super fucking expensive too. I don't know if it's just ignorance or people fucking collect them like me. I don't know. I'm not sure, but they're fucking awesome. Thank you, Dan. You rock. So fucking cool. Uh, Dan says, I'm told they have even more they haven't put out yet. Holy fuck, Dan. Yeah, I mean, like, if you don't mind fucking going to the post office and stuff, buddy, I'd fucking, I would owe you for sure. <laughs> you want to take, just send me a fucking couple pics. I'll, I'll zoom in on that shit and I'll fucking tell you. Like, you know, I won't go crazy, like too crazy, but like, anyway, thanks, man. Really fucking super cool. Hey, everybody. I think that's all the shit that I got. That's it. Just a couple things to add to my fucking, my mess here. Well, hey, everybody. That's my unboxing horror segment. Thanks again to Dan. Thanks for everybody stopping by. Uh, fucking Kieran and David, Swearwolf and Todd. And Kieran and Mom. Who fucking almost disrupted my video with bad information. And uh, that's it. Until I see all of you motherfuckers next time. As always, get the fuck out of my house. Bye.